So welcome to the ballroom has really come out and surprised me and I see the potential in this show and to come out and say it immediately This show has done something You know a lot of shows have not done to me and or done for me My Academia has done it to talk on Titan has done it It made me lost in the scene to where I was kind of like taught in a sense. I didn't think My body just kind of moved it flowed in the dancing scene with, you know, Shizuku in episode 3, it really, you know, just kind of mesmerized me. I was just kind of like, wow, what's what's going on? And I can't explain it. And, you know, certain songs, insert songs for anime, it's not saying this show has done that. It speaks dialogue. And I think Hey Too Jun is, you know, you know, No Grimgar is a show I talk about quite often whenever I talk about this. Sometimes music can just add dialogue. It speaks. It adds more to a scene. And I felt as if, the dancing in the show added dialogue is really unique and, I, and Sin Goku don't don't get it twisted Tatra is not necessarily the key to the show being good I think it's all Sin Goku because everything revolves around him from Hyoto from Shizuku from Tatra especially who aspires to be him who wants to be that good who told him straight to the you know straight to the man's face I've never danced before but I want to be a pro I'm gonna be a pro. And I love how like this the show set set up like it's set up so many ways we could go. It's not setting up just one certain way. Technically she you know, Shizuku is taken and it's just like wow, you know, how is our main character going to find his way? But we find out he's an instinctual dancer to where you can't teach him, and that's what the whole shadow thing is about. And a lot of people actually even if they read the manga, I mean just watch since they may not truly understand, it's kinda like that's some kind of ass pool. And I, w I want to go deeper in depth because I know a lot of people have read this manga. I know people, you know, my subscribers have read this manga. And there's something you guys probably won't... You, you may have heard of it, but you're not going to understand unless you're truly an athlete. And it's the instinct factor. Whenever, you know, Tatra is dancing at certain moments, his mind goes blank, his body moves. Sometimes he's thinking, but if you guys notice, whenever he's not thinking, that's when he reacts. That's what the, that's what the shadow dancing is for. It's all instinct, and that's why he learns the way he does. And I'm glad I played three different sports, because I can reference to this. The sports I was best at, you know? The sports that I got all those awards for. My body just moved at times. It's something that happens very rarely. And, you know, there's a lot of shows that may say, hey, you know, like My Hero Academia, a hero just moves instinctually. Someone who should be a hero, just his body reacts. No thinking. All Might stated that. And that's what's happening to Tatra in this show. And I'm glad I finally got to catch up to the show. I'm not sure what the title is going to be. A lot of people may be saying, what, what, what's the show? Hex, it's Welcome to the Ballroom. I said that in the beginning of the video. So <laughs> make sure you're listening for that. I'll, probably, I'll leave it down in the comments if I, if I remember, but I don't always remember. Because this probably, I don't even know if I'm going to label this Welcome to the Ballroom or not. But nonetheless... I gotta say, Shizuku, I know I've heard there's some pretty good girls that are going to come to this series. I don't know if Shizuku is going to be Tatra's partner later on or what. But it looks like Hiro has something going on with his knees. So how long is he going to be able to dance still and all this kind of stuff? I don't know. But nonetheless, in order to beat our best girl Shizuku, I gotta say now, it's gonna take a lot. Like, it's gonna, I mean, you, especially someone who comes in later into the story, it's kind of like, well, Shizuku's been here the whole time. You're going to need quite some time to surpass her. And I've heard there's some red-haired girl that's going to be pretty good. But nonetheless, I was mesmerized by how the show just grasped me. Just It kind of just took my mind, ripped it, you know, just ripped it out from my, my body, per se, and just said, just watch. You know what I mean? I, I, was, not, I was so mesmerized. And I was very impressed with, you know, the animation. Some of the character design can be goofy, but I feel as if the scene has just somehow made me overlook that because I you know I've been hearing about this long neck issue and it's not an excuse production IG that's on you that's laziness to be quite honest but nonetheless your scenes are st still magnificent nonetheless I mean and I, I you know I'm not gonna sit here and credit production IG for that excuse my phone I'm not gonna sit here and credit them for that this all all this credit goes to the manga co but other than that guys definitely check the show out I see the potential in it and it's 25 episodes I'm just waiting for that potential to fully just Hit us right in the face, just like my hair academia.